Now let me add a very simple Python uh, script here which have two numbers and uh, I'm just comparing them using if statement. So once you have your script, you have multiple options to run your script. So you can right click on the same editor in which you are writing your code and then you can see you have this option to run a Python file in the terminal. You also have the uh, run current file in the interactive window. So you have all these options here. Also you have uh, this uh, run button which is, which is going to run your Python file or if you are a fan of command prompt or terminal then you can directly type your uh, command for example Python and then the name of the file which is going to run your uh, Python script in this terminal. So let's say I'm going to choose this option to run my Python script. I'm going to press this button. You can see my Python script uh, is executed and the result is here, right? So it's going to uh, just select the interpreter from here and then the complete path of the file and it's going to run this uh, file and then give you the out. Let's say I want to just uh, run this script using terminal. I can just type Python here and then the name of the file which is test.py and it's going to give me uh, the output which is a lot cleaner than using this uh, terminal because it's going to show you all the complete parts of the Python executable and your file, right? So whatever option seems to be useful for you, you can use that option. Now let's say you ran your Python script and let's say you want to debug your Python script. So you can uh, just go to your script and then uh, add the breakpoint uh, on your Python script using these red dots, right? So you can just hover over the line on which you want to set the breakpoint and then just click there and you will see this kind of red uh, dot here that means the breakpoint is set on the third line now on the left hand side you have this uh, debug and run icon here so you can click on debug and run and here at the bottom you will be able to see all breakpoints uh, you have set so right now i only have one breakpoint i can set multiple breakpoints here and i will be able to see the list of all the breakpoints here from here, I can disable all the breakpoints by just clicking on this icon, which means all the breakpoints are there, but they are disabled, right? If I want to remove all the breakpoints, I can click on the remove all breakpoints icon here, and it's going to remove all the breakpoints. So let me add the breakpoint once again. Now, for the first time, when you are debugging your uh, Python script, when you click on the uh, debug, uh, icon here you will see this run and debug button here and also you will see uh, this option which says to customize run and debug you can create a launch dot uh, json file so here you will be able to customize uh, your uh, debug file for example which debugger you want to use for your debugging which uh, python interpreter you want to use which file you want to uh, uh, use for debugging so all these options you can uh, uh, give in the launch.json file let me just click on run and debug option which is going to uh, give me all these options I want to choose the first option which is Python file and once I click on that I will be able to see that my debugger is uh, running and my program execution will stop at the breakpoint here so you can see uh, my execution is stopped at the breakpoint. I can see all the debugging related options here. So when I click on this uh, continue button, my uh, program will run normally. I can just uh, step over, I can step into a function, I can come out of the function and I can re rerun my debugger using this option and I can stop this uh, debugger using this uh, icon here, right? When you see uh, this pink kind of bar here that means your debugger is running right if you stop it you will see that this pink uh, bar is gone right so this is kind of a trick uh, to observe when your debugger is running or not right so let me rerun it once again you can see uh, the debugger is running 
program execution is stopped at this breakpoint. I will be able to see the list of all the local variables on the left hand side. I can watch some variables. Let's say I want to watch a variable B. I can just type B and then press enter and it's going to give me the value of uh, the variable uh, which I want to watch here. I can also see the globals here so you can see all the global variable values are here and uh, I can just tap over right so I can just uh, go to the next execution point and see what's happening in my script. So this is how you can debug your script. Let me just stop the debugger. I can once again go to my folder explorer. Now once you have added the Python extension, you will be able to see that the Python uh, IntelliSense is also there. So when uh, you type uh, some letters of a method, let's say, it's going to show you all the uh, methods which you can use uh, related to what you have typed in your editor. So when I type PRI, it's going to show me all the print related options, right? I can also when I just write one parenthesis, it's going to complete that. I can print the value of let's say B, right? So all the intelligence options are available for me once I have installed my uh, Python extension, I can just save my script by just pressing Control S which is going to save my script. Now let's say you are an advanced user and you want to use uh, Python virtual env in your project, right? So normally, let's say whenever you want to uh, install a Python pip package, you can do it directly. But if you want to create a virtual env uh, for your project, you can also do it easily in Visual Studio Code. So let me create a new uh, test file. Let me name it as test2. Py. And here in my test2.py I have this uh, very simple uh, Python uh, script which uses a package called bcrypt, right? Right now you can see this uh, yellow squiggly uh, line here which says import bcrypt could not be resolved because we haven't installed this package using pip on our uh, uh, project. So let me just close all these terminals. I just want to use one terminal which is the command prompt and let me uh, clear this command prompt here, right? So in order to create a new virtual environment, you can type uh, this command. So python hyphen m then v env and then env and then press enter which is going to create a new virtual env for us and you will be able to see uh, this warning which says we noticed a new virtual environment has been created. Do you want to select it for the workspace folder? So when I choose yes here, see what happens. So when I choose yes, you will be able to see this uh, virtual env is listed here. So with my Python interpreter, this env is also visible. You can see env v env, right? So now I can choose between the virtual env also from this interpreter list okay so you can choose your virtual env also so to activate this virtual env i can give this command and then press enter which is going to activate my uh, uh, virtual env and you will be able to recognize using uh, this so if you see the name env here then you have activated the virtual env so if you see the name of your virtual environment that means it's activated and then uh, we can just install this pip package here. So I can just write pip space hyphen q install bcrypt which is my package which I want to install. And once I have installed this package, you can see the squiggly line is gone. That means I can uh, just use this bcrypt package in my script easily now, right? So now I can just uh, type python command and then the name of the file which is test dot py right so that is test two dot py and then press enter which is going to run this script and it runs uh, successfully also when you are done you can just type uh, deactivate which is going to deactivate your virtual environment so i can type deactivate and then press enter and now i'm in my normal command prompt 
Also, once you have created uh, the virtual environment, you will be able to see this directory here, and right? So all the configuration you will be able to see here. And of course, you will have the track of your files in your virtual control inside your Visual Studio Code editor using the source control option. So if you have installed Git, it's going to show you what changes you have made and it's going to help you to commit your code, push your code, pull your code from GitHub or any other repository easily inside the Visual Studio Code. The last option which I want to show here is, let's say you don't want to just run and debug, you want to create a launch.json uh, file for debugging. You can click on the create a launch.json file and then click on Python uh, file and it's going to create this launch.json file. So as I said, so as I said, you have the information about the console here, the program which you want to run. And then uh, the request is here, the type is uh, Python, the name will be Python current file. And if you have created multiple uh, debug files, you will be able to choose uh, those uh, files or configurations using this uh, list, right? And when you go to the Explorer, you will be able to see this uh, launch.json file, which is created under .vs code. Uh, uh, folder. So this is a hidden directory and you will be able to change uh, the content inside it using uh, this launch.json file.